it's Megan. So I'm going to do a review of a review containing items from a BoxyCharm, which I did swap items. I know they're from BoxyCharm, but I did swap some makeup I had for some of these on ediv.com, which is a makeup swapping website, obviously. Obviously. Some Bulu Box products. And I'm going to tell you about a Walmart Beauty Box product. So the first thing is, is all of this is from someone's BoxyCharm. I got just this, but she was so sweet to send me these two things free. And then I also swapped for this. So anyway, this is literally 0.5 ounces. And I looked it up. It really is $87 for just this size. And you pay $21 for BoxyCharm. So the person who originally got this got their money's worth. Um, you can use it for dark circles, fine lines, your forehead, the corners of your eyes, corners of your mouth, so on and so forth. I've used it on my eyes. My, I have dark... Um, lower sides of my eyes hereditarily and it's worked it did tingle quite a bit around the side and it soothed my for it soothed my forehead lines um, the chemistry of it is amazing it does have that hyaluronic acid so I, I do as an active ingredient so I really do see why the product does work it's a white creamy consistency but it goes on very light and smooth um, it's really amazing it really doesn't doesn't necessarily have a smell. It just smells like, I guess I'd say like a lotion smell. Which is fine by me. You know, $87. You are supposed to follow it up with a marine soothing cream. Which I found for $114. Considering I liked how this worked. It just worked enough for me. I'm not going to purchase the marine soothing cream. You're more than welcome to. Uh, the next item she also sent me is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is only a quarter of the regular size, which at Macy's is $16, I do believe. But it's very light, very subtle. Um, well, I don't feel like I have like two layers on my face. I have my photo finish primer and then my foundation. I don't feel caked at all. Um, so that's very amazing. I'm not sure about the cruelty-free and I'm sure it's not vegan, things like that. But you could look that up if you would like. There's no fragrance to it. It does come out of a little nozzle. Doo -doo -doo. So, you know, it's really not that bad at all. Um, you know, you get the bang for your buck, I would say. I know, Shuggy, hold on. And then I got the MAC False Lash Extreme Black. Um, it's mascara. I swatched it on my hand earlier. And it's very soft, it's very flat. This is from the eyeliner, but I'm going to redo that. I swatched it on my hand earlier. It's very flush with my skin. It's really it's really not bad. I don't use false lashes, but I'm willing to give it a shot since it is a very small sample size. On just my regular eyelashes because everybody talks about MAC products. So, thank you for those. Um, the next thing that I know is from a BoxyCharm is this Ico London eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, felt tip gorgeous you know I mean it's amazing so I'll swatch it you can go flat you can go thick and bold whichever you know it's it's your call um, I'm not sure about if this is full size or not it's um, 1.2 grams um, in the US I see equal to like 0 0.04 ounces um, but online it does show that this is $20 so this really is not bad um, I do like it it's www.ico.com um, and so we just swatched it and it's already dry it really does dry quick it's amazing I haven't tried it on my eyes yet I don't know I'm still like a that was a new tester for me I'm still an eye pencil kind of gal um, the next thing is from my Bulu box it's the Vita for, Vital for You Fiber Drink you just take it out, and I've, I've tried one. Can you? My Camilla Lip Monthly Lip Gloss is all over it, so I apologize. You just take it, rip it, and drink it. It's really not bad. This fiber drink is a citrus berry fusion, but it tasted more like mango to me. If you've ever had a Bahama Mama, that's exactly what it tastes like. I know how alcoholic that sounds. I apologize, but that's just exactly what it tastes like. Three grams of um, fiber, which really isn't bad, and 28 calories. And I got two samples, and they usually come four in a pack. Um, I'm not sure of the price point for that. I did have it on a previous video. Um, but it's, all in all, it's really not bad at all. And it is gluten-free, just a heads up again. Um, the next thing I tried, which is kind of why I look a little stuffy and sound a little crazy today, is the Aller for You Green Med Allergy Medicine. You're supposed to take six capsules total a day. 
I had my sample and I had only three. I took them yesterday, uh, probably about 9 a.m., and I was great all day. And we have so much pollen out here. When I started my truck up and got to moving, it looked like a snow drift coming off the hood of the truck. So it really, really was awesome. I really am going to go to Bulu.com and be ordering some of these because this is the first product that I like. It's all natural supplements. Sneezing, wheezing, runny nose, itchy water, eyes, nasal congestion, and itchy skin. Um, and that's really not bad at all. And it's all based off of plant extracts and things like that. And when you do look it up and it says semen, it doesn't mean like mammal semen. It does just mean semen from the plant. Please don't freak out about that. Um, I've had some people be like, ugh, but it's not. So there's my review of that. And then from my Walmart box, now I didn't keep the wrapper. I got the Ken Paves shampoo, conditioner, and um, conditioning mask. I tried them. I loved them. Wow, my hair was clean. Wow, it was soft. I mean, conditioned. My brush went right, right through it. It was amazing. The only complaint I have is I kept, you know, sitting there and, you know, like that because, you know, I'm, I'm be home alone or something and I'd be a little worried. And I couldn't get my brain to register that there was not a man standing near me. It was my hair. That was a very, very manly smell for a female shampoo. I'm hoping it was female. I'm sure it was female. But, no, I, they need to change the, the smell of it. While it did smell good, it's like a good cologne, just not for a hair product. It smelled like um, Bod for Men from like the 90s. That's exactly what it smelled like. It just was not for me. Um, and I do also have this... But I know that it's not my color, but I do know somebody who is. It's the Estee Lauder 3-in-1 Ivory Beige um, Perfect Makeup Foundation. Um, so I'm going to be giving this to them. Um, it's Estee Lauder. They've been around forever. They are a higher priced item, but they are very well worth the money. Um, so my, my swap person was very sweet. Um, but if you're interested in the swap, by the way, it's ediv.com. I'll put that below. I love it absolutely love it I mean I've never gotten anything that I've been upset with but anyway there I go rambling again thank you for watching and I hope to soon I should have another review of something for you or some crazy I don't even know but anyway thank you so much for watching please give it a thumbs up comment below subscribe if you'd like I'm gonna be having a lot of quirky things going on but anyway I appreciate everything and thank you and y'all have a blessed day